Hey, hey, it's Leah Faye. Today we are gonna be learning how to get custom highlight colors on Microsoft Word and Google Docs. So first things first, you're gonna open up your web browser and then you'll navigate to your Google Drive. If you don't have a Google Drive already, you sign up, it's easy, free, and you create your Gmail. Then you'll open up a new Google Doc and type your text of what you want to highlight. Then you'll see if you click the highlighter button, there'll be an option to custom highlight. So if you want to pick a color that's already on the screen, you can use the special color picker or you can go hit the plus button and then you have an option of using the color slider or inputting the hex code or inputting the RGB values. And that's how you get your custom highlight color on Google Docs. Now for Microsoft Word, it's a little bit different. So you're gonna go into your Microsoft Word app on your laptop. And once you open the app, you'll click open to a new template. Again, if you don't have an Outlook account, make sure you sign up. Then you'll type the text you wanna highlight and you'll notice that there's this highlight section, but you only have a few select colors and no option to customize. But if you open up to a bigger screen or a larger window, you can see that there's a paragraph shading tool. And so you'll click the down arrow, you'll see the theme colors and the standard colors, and then the more colors option. And it actually gives you a lot of different options here. So you can use the color wheel or the color picker. Oh, you'll just notice here, it does highlight the whole paragraph section since technically it's a paragraph shading tool. So you just have to be really careful about that and make sure you're just highlighting the one specific word you wanna highlight. Once you pick that specific word, you can go in and make sure you just highlight the exact characters that you wanna highlight instead of that extra little space at the end. And that'll ensure that you're only highlighting the specific word or phrase. So one important thing to note is that when you're creating tables in Word, it because it's a paragraph shading tool, it will actually highlight the entire cell. If you go to highlight the whole like text that's in the cell and then click the paragraph shading tool, the entire cell will be colored, but you can highlight a specific word in that cell if you just want one word highlighted, but you can't highlight all the words together with the spaces in between them unless you want the whole cell shaded. But you can technically highlight each word individually, but then it just kind of looks weird if the spaces are left white. You'll notice when you open the custom paragraph shading tool that you can actually pick your color from various different options. So to start, you have the color wheel, and then you have the RGB slider tool, which you can actually pick if you want a grayscale slider, RGB CMYK, which is the cyan, magenta, yellow, and K normally stands for black in a printer, and then your HSB slider, so that's the hue, saturation, and brightness. So you can pick your custom color on so many different qualities that you want. And then there's also the preset colors, the spectrum, and then the preset crayon colors as well. I also forgot to mention that if you want to change the theme colors that are offered in Word, you can go to design and then hit the color drop down menu and then there are multiple different preset themes if you don't want to think of a color palette yourself. So for this one I picked red violet and then you can go back to the home page. Your theme colors will then be changed. The last option for custom highlighting is actually going to be Microsoft Word Online. So you'll type in Microsoft Word Online into your browser of your choice. And then once you sign into Microsoft, you'll open a new document and then type whatever text that you want to type and highlight. And then once you do that, you'll notice also again that the highlight colors are only those specific few. So you'll have to use the paragraph shading tool again and then you're gonna click on more colors and that's how you get the customized colors. But note here that you don't have as many options. It's basically like Google Docs. You have the little color graph that you can pick on. You can input the hex color or the RGB values, but it doesn't have as many as what is in the Word app on your laptop. And again, just note that in Word Online, it will only be the paragraph shading tool. It's very hard to do one specific word. So it's ultimately better to have the Microsoft Word app downloaded. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, be sure to like it down below, subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos. And if you feel I missed anything, please let me know and I will try to do better or address your concerns in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. 
P.S. I just want to say I'm sorry that my voice is like really low and my hair's not done. I just wanted to A, get this video up for you guys and B, my parents are sleeping. So I just have to kind of talk whisper. But I appreciate you watching anyway and I'll see you guys in my next one.